Track's already started to buckle here. A nice flat track. Decides to buckle right here. There's also a little bit of a buckle right here, but that's easily fixed. I've got a method and I'll show you how it's able to be done. Now these are the pieces that you would need to make an expanding rail section to stop your track buckling. First step is you grab the 1x8 tile, or you can use 1x6, whichever one's easier for you. 1x4 bricks. And make sure it's three studs apart from each other, okay? Next, you got the 1.8. Now, once we got all this done, so it should look something like this, you get your section of track, put the grill on or one by two tile. Put it on like so. And you get your one by eight, that's what I've got. Oh, I got you can use your one point one by six. Put it on. And there you have it. Nice expanding rail section. And have those if you don't have those um one by one bricks, your track can get unstable. So it's recommended you have these one by one bricks on your um plate. Now here we have it already expanding on the right hand side. Also the same, a little bit on the right hand side. The third one here, yeah both. And imagine that, if all three added up, it starts to buckle. And a little bit on this fourth one here. So, on a, even though it's not a hot sunny day today, a cloudy warm one, it still expands quite a little bit. It does make that bit different, so you can still run your trains. We'll get this train rocking and rolling. You see that? Has no problem whatsoever.